We light this chalice tonight during Kwanzaa to honor black culture, family, and community. Habarigani, what's happening? Kumba, creativity. Good afternoon, my friends and colleagues at the Church of the Larger Fellowship. Um, first of all, thank you. Thank you very much for asking me to participate in an observance of Kwanzaa and, and for picking the right day of the Kwanzaa tradition for me to observe creativity or Kuhumba um, because my own personal journey is one where creativity is not a sideline thing. It's for me a deeply spiritual principle and one that I have probably used to survive. Uh, in the Kwanzaa tradition, Kaumba is to be as much as we can, in the way we can, to bring our community more beauty and to have it be more beneficial than we inherited it. And that certainly has been the case in my life. Um, I am a performing artist in addition to being a minister. I'm a published poet. And I'm also somebody who's had to rely on creativity just to get through. And I think that's the story of being Africans in America. Um, I believe that. I believe that creativity is one of our biggest strengths and one that we must rely on. And in the principle, it's one that we have to commit to. And just in case there are some folks out there listening and, and wondering about their creativity because they're thinking about grand works of art or superstars within the theater and the cinema, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about simply making it through life and having to rely on a creative energy, a sense that to hold on to our integrity requires that we be creative and that we have been. I don't think we would have survived slavery without it. Um, they blend Kaumba in Kwanzaa's um, practice with Nia, the principle of faith, and I think that's still the case. Um, I also think that what we have experienced recently requires of us to be creative, and we have been. The very fact that I'm not meeting with you in person means that there's some creative venture going on so that I can share this with you. Um, I wanted to just say that Today, in our worship service, uh, we honored new ancestors, Matthew P. Taylor and Bell Hooks. And we certainly admire them for what they were able to produce, but we also treasure what they were able to help us do on a daily basis because of their willingness to share their creativity with us. And I think we owe that to generations. I also wanna reiterate that for me to have lived in integrity as a man who loves other men and a black man who came of age when I did meant that many times I explored creativity sometimes intuitively, not intentionally, and it saved the day. So I'm appreciating that we're stopping to observe this and that we do every year during Kwanzaa and that you've asked me to do this and I'm wishing the best for you and that you explore how your creativity has helped save you and how it will help save us all. Most grateful.